Audacity 3.5.1 has been released. You can see that on the Audacity team website. From the change log, you can see what changes are in this version. It is a minor update, mainly fixing some crash issues. If you have already updated to 3.5, it is recommended to upgrade to 3.5.1. Audacity 3.5 has introduced some new features. Every new version of Audacity introduces major changes to the user experience. Well, the good news is not many or big changes to the voice editing interface. Previously we had to learn new things every time Audacity released a new version. This time it will work quite the same as before. Audacity focused a lot on the cloud saving feature on version 3.5. You can see a new option to save in the cloud. You will need an audio.com account to use this cloud saving feature. You can save the project directly in the cloud and open it from there. You can also share your project with other audio.com users. Cloud saving makes audio sharing easier. I cannot save the project in the cloud as I have not linked my Audacity with audio.com. You have to link your audio.com account with your Audacity. However, cloud saving means the audio will be only on the cloud, not on your local machine. I am not sure at the moment if that can cause a major issue. I will check it more and let you know my thoughts. Other changes are not too big or significant for voice editing. In 3.5.0, some of the menus are removed. For example, there was an XML converter menu on the tools. It has been removed. You are most likely not to notice those removals as those menus were used very rarely. You will find all the changes in the change log. Audacity team made a video showing the cloud and other features related to music. Besides cloud saving, the other two major features are automatic tempo detection and pitch shifting. Those are mainly beneficial who are into music production. The rest of the changes are mainly some changes on the preference. I have not found anything yet that will make us feel any different in terms of the user interface for voice editing. However, I expect the new 3.5 to be more stable than before. I can see that some bugs related to the Audacity crash issue have been fixed. But if you are in the middle of a project, I would recommend you wait some time before upgrading. You can look into the Audacity forum if any major issues remain in 3.5.0. I will also let you know if I find any. If you want to learn Audacity well, I have bundled some tools and courses together. If you take this bundle, you will become confident producing audiobooks or voiceovers using Audacity. You can take this bundle from this Buy Me A Coffee page or from my Patreon website. Some people's cards are getting declined on Buy Me Coffee. If you face such issue, you can get the bundle from Patreon. In the next part of the video, I will show you one tool of the bundle that makes your sound better in one click. Yes, it sounds too good to be true, but your audio will be processed in a click. It is an amazing audacity tool I developed with my years of audio editing experience. You will also get some professional EQs with this tool. If you are into professional voice editing, this is a handy tool. You can turn your raw recording into professional quality in a single click. The waveform you see on the screen is a raw recording. I will make a duplicate and compare the original and the improved version. I will improve the bottom track. Select everything inside the track and go to Tools. From Apply Macro, you can choose the type of improvement you want. I have several types of improvement like Clear Vocal, ESS Reduction, Intelligent Improve, Interview Improve, Podcast Improve etc. All these improvements can improve audio quality in a single click. I will show you in a moment where you can get these. I will apply the Clear Vocal Improve on this recording. The audio has become improved instantly. Let's listen to the original and improved audio to understand the difference. I will play the original first and then the improvement. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio, recording, to clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. So you see what a massive improvement I got just in a click. Installation of these macros is very easy. From the Tools menu, go to Macro Manager. You have to import the macros. Click on Import. You will get a zip file from me and unzip that file, and you will get the Macros and EQs folder. To import the macros, select the Macros folder. If you want to use the Professional EQ separately, you will also get those in the EQs folder. Inside the Macros folder, you will get some TXT files. 
from the file name, you would know which macro it is. Each txt file is a separate macro. You have to select a macro and open. You have to import the macros one by one as Audacity does not support bulk import of macros. The macros you have imported will be listed on the left side and are ready to use. So where do you get these macros? You can get these macros in this Buy Me A Coffee page. I have developed 11 macros with professional EQs with my years of audio editing experience. I have a detailed installation guide in the description. If you want to use these professional EQ separately, you will find instructions on that. These macros come with after-sales service, so if you have any difficulty in using or installing these macros, you can email me. You can also get this from the Patreon page. If you face difficulty in payment on Buy Me A Coffee, you can use Patreon page. You will get the same files and then the price is the same. If you are looking for an efficient way to produce high-quality voice, these macros are the solution.